In this video, we are going to discuss about properties of autocorrelation function that is first property of autocorrelation function of energy signal. This is, uh, these are the properties we are going to discuss especially for energy signal. Later we will discuss for power signal also. For power signal also the properties are like this only, same properties we will repeat. So, I am just uh, giving clear cut about uh, properties of energy signal. So, same properties we will get in power signal. So, here you can see the first property of autocorrelation function of energy signal is autocorrelation function exhibits conjugate symmetry. That means any autocorrelation function or the autocorrelation function of a signal exhibits conjugate symmetry. Conjugate symmetry property means R of tau is equal to R star of minus tau. If you uh, take an image of the signal and if you uh, take in complex conjugate then you will get the same signal. So, for this to prove this I want to consider autocorrelation function first of all to prove this. I want to consider autocorrelation function formula. So, R11 of tau or R of tau is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t x star of t minus tau t minus tau dt. This is the formula of autocorrelation. Now, I want to consider R star of tau. So, here I want to consider R star of tau. Then what will happen if you consider star for this signal? Uh, here we are not having complex conjugate. So, whatever we are applying complex conjugate that will re reflect here. But here already you are having complex conjugate. So, that will cancel. So, here that is equivalent to x star of t, x of t minus tau dt. Now, the next step is we need to calculate r star of minus tau. We do not want r star of tau. We just want r star of plus uh, minus tau. So, here we are having plus tau. So, I am just replacing that plus tau with minus tau. Then I am going to get the value for r star of minus tau. So, that is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity. So, x star of t x of t plus tau wherever you saw minus tau you can place plus tau that means here in place of tau if you substituted minus tau minus of minus that will become plus so t plus tau you need to write dt so when i introduced autocorrelation function for you so there i discussed that so here you can give the shift to here or here or you can use positive or negative shift whatever it may be that is treated as autocorrelation function. Autocorrelation function is nothing but measure of similarity between the signal and time delayed version of the same signal. So, if you if you are going to consider this as your autocorrelation function, this is also autocorrelation function of the same signal. Why? Because here also x of t is a complex signal. For for that you consider complex conjugate and here you are measuring similarity between the signal and negative shifted version of the signal. If you are measuring with negative shifted version of the signal or positive shifted version of the signal you are going to get autocorrelation function only. So, here this is also written as R of tau. So, R of tau is equivalent to R star of minus tau. So, we can say this property is proved. So, this is first property of autocorrelation function of energy signal where this autocorrelation function exhibits conjugate symmetry property. Whenever you saw R of tau, there you can write R star of minus tau also now onwards. So, this is also very important property in autocorrelation function of energy signals. So, sometimes they are asking directly what is the autocorrelation function 
properties, autocorrelation function of energy signal properties. So, here they are asking what is conjugate symmetry property of autocorrelation function. This is the conjugate symmetry of autocorrelation function. So, the same property we can repeat in power signals also. So, there I won't give proof, same proof there also we can apply. So, here this is about autocorrelation function first property. From next class onwards we will discuss remaining properties.